If you want to start in Canada, you should be careful when picking your programs. I will be sharing with you courses which are not the best options for international students. And also some things that you can consider when choosing a course here in Canada. I'm currently in my school now. I'm in Crown Door University in New Brunswick. So the first thing you want to do would be to consider if you would want to remain in Canada after your studies or you would like to go back to your home country. So if you made up your mind that you don't want to stay in Canada after your studies, you can go for an ESL. An ESL is a course that has English as a second language. For this ESL, you would not need a study permit. It is usually between two weeks to one year. And also, you will not be getting a major. In other words, you will not be getting a degree. So it's just like a certification course. You would not be getting a postgraduate work permit. In other words, after graduating from this course, you won't be able to get a job or be eligible for working here in Canada because it is not an academic course. But if you want to stay in Canada after your studies, you can opt for pathway programs. This will prepare you for colleges and universities here in Canada without you writing an English text exam. In other words, you would not need to write IELTS or any other English exam that might be needed by your school. In this pathway program, you will be taught academic writing, essays, communication, how to work as a team, and team management. Another type of course that we'll be talking about that you should avoid when you are here in Canada or when you want to come to Canada would be short training courses. So usually the short training courses is for young professionals who would love to gain international experience. With the short courses, you would need to study for about a period of six months. After six months, then you need to work for another six months. And then with the knowledge that you have gained, you can take the knowledge back home to your own country to work for a company or to run your own business. So please also note that for these short training courses, you also will not get a postgraduate work permit apart from the six months in which you will be allowed to work after your six months study. So what you can do or what people usually do or what I would suggest that you should do would be to after graduating from school and you are working in a particular company and you are done with that company after six months and you are going back to your country you should try to negotiate with that company to send you an offer letter back home when you receive that offer letter you can be able to come back into Canada as a full-time employee of that company I am not saying please not like I would always say that I am not an immigration consultant i am not a licensed officer i am only saying everything i'm saying because i'm a student here in crando university in and I'm doing lots of research and I'm doing lots of findings. So please find time to do your own research, to do your own findings before you take any step. And one more thing that is very important, please try to avoid programs that is not related to your work experience or that is not related to your field of study, as this will give the visa officer reasons not to get your visa approved. So when you're going for a course program, ensure it is in line with what you studied previously or ensure it is in line with your previous work experience. It means if you are changing field, like you want to change field from management into science or management into art, you should be able to give reasons. You should be able to justify the reasons why you are changing your field. You should be able to justify why you're changing the line of your career. So you should be able to explain the reason why you are having a change in your career line, that it's basically because of your work experience. In as much as you were in a particular field, Field, all this why you suddenly want to switch to another field because you have built a work experience in this new area and you would want to further your career on this area hey if you're still watching this video till this time 
come on smash that like button click on the bell notification if you click on the bell notification you will always be aware whenever i make a new video and if you click on that like button i will be so glad and i will be so pleased subscribe and share these videos with all of your friends and i'll keep on trying to make videos you can also send me messages on the comment section on the type of videos that you would want me to make for you guys and i will do my best as always to do the kind of videos that you want and also to answer all of your questions so drop all of your questions drop all of your suggestion in the comment section so let's continue so another program that you should avoid should be programs that have limited job opportunities we all know that every city and every province have their own job demand so before you apply for a particular course in a school check out that province check out that city check out the jobs that are in demand in that area so that you will not be in a situation where you will graduate from school and you would not be able to get a job I had a story about a friend who came into Canada and she studied event management. In the city or province in which she was staying, they do not plan events there. So tell me how someone who study event management, knowing that event management is not one of the jobs on demand in that area, in that province, in the city where you were staying. But then, not to be worried, please know that you can go ahead and switch courses. You can go ahead for a change of course, contact your school and tell them that you, you, you wouldn't want to continue with this course, but you would love to switch. Also, you can also... Um, Try to contact immigration and let immigration be aware that you have changed or you are about to change just to protect your visa status. Please do not go for training programs and apprenticeship programs that would be like uh, mechanics, that would be like uh, technicians because these programs might get you fixed at the end of the day that you might not be able to get jobs here basically what i would suggest is for you to consult an advisor which could be an immigration officer or someone who is experienced in this field or take your time to do a research findings in case you are interested in courses like this go through the website of each school find out all they have to offer and when you see schools that are offering programs like this go to the irlcc website and check out to ensure that you will be eligible for postgraduate work permits and other benefits that you will get as international students here in canada and then you should ensure that your school is a DLI. A DLI is a designated learning institution. If your school is not a designated learning institution, then there's going to be a pro big problem with your visa because you might not be able to get a postgraduate work permit after, your gra after you graduate from school. Secondly, if you have family, you might not be able to sponsor your spouse. You might not be able to sponsor your kids and your family at large so always ensure always try to check that your school is a dli after checking it's a dli ensure that you are eligible for postgraduate work permits after school and this brings us to the end of this video kindly drop all of your questions in the comment section i would enjoy having a chit chat with you getting to hear your experience from each and every one of you and to share more ideas more suggestions just as i'll be answering all of your questions so i'm gonna see you in the next video take good care and bye bye